So you're going to be part of an all new feature in Yakuza Like a Dragon Ishin, known as Trooper Cards. So my mm -hmm. first question obviously is, well, how did your involvement in this role come about and what exactly does your role entail? I started playing through the series while I was in quarantine for a show and everyone had, that I knew had spoken very highly of the Yakuza series. So I started to play through and I kind of loved it. Yeah. Um, and began kind of publicly sharing my journey with that and the community being what it is, they got very excited that someone else was playing through Yakuza. RGG reached out and Sega and asked if I was interested in having my likeness used for a trooper card for Ishin, like a Dragon Ishin. The trooper card is basically a power up, a buff, a card that you collect and, and you decide which ones you want to have there and then as shortcuts. Uh, and each one has a different type of move or buff or whatever. And uh, my trooper card is a very aggressive kind of fiery explosion. Um, but it's, yeah, my likeness and my name, the trooper card, is just the Rahul Kohli trooper card. And it's, yeah. it's super cool because I've only ever played characters and voiced characters and, you know, been someone else. It's the first yeah. time that my name and my likeness is me as me. Your description on that card as well is a chivalrous man who's travelled through to space, time and reality to serve the, and I'm going to butcher this, the Shinsengumi. Mm -hmm. Draws upon his experience in law enforcement to keep the peace. Is that law enforcement reference a reference to Midnight Mass? That's that's what I think. And, yeah. and when you use the card, it says rob them of their dignity, dignity being this thing that Sheriff Hassan kept talking about. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I, when I read the bio, I had I immediately was like, yo, is this a mass thing? And and I think it was. I'm sure it is. This isn't your first rodeo in the games industry. You've obviously mm -hmm. you've had voice acting roles in Rage 2, Gears 5, Fortnite. What's next? And what is your dream series to be a part of? I've done a few now, yeah. There's a few that haven't been announced and they're NDA'd. I'd love nothing more than to be in the next Red Dead if there's one. <laughs> You've worked alongside Mike Flanagan with The Haunting of Bly Manor and Midnight Mass. And if I remember correctly, you've just finished filming The Fall of the House of Usher, right? right? Yes. Yeah. And then obviously those next exit as well. So it's it's been nonstop for you, really. So what I want to ask is how do you actually fit gaming into your regular schedule? I actually am able to game a lot more because I'm working. I um, When I'm filming, I cannot and will not watch TV or film. Um, I have I view it through such different eyes. Um, I kind of can't stand watching other people act after I've been on set for 15 hours watching yeah. people act. I see it. I can see it all. I can see the choices. I can see marks and, and it just does. It, I cannot separate. Um, and so that's where gaming really kind of and to, the, to a certain degree, like Warhammer and miniature painting and things, I, I'll do anything but consume media in that sort of film or TV. So I, I, I'm playing every night, basically. Um, yeah. Depending on what time I, I wrap, I'll go home and I've got, I'll always have my laptop there. So I've got my Steam library. I'll usually have one of my consoles, mainly my PS5. I've got a Steam Deck when I'm in my trailer. Um, plus a travel hobby station so i get a lot of my backlog done while i'm filming i also read about you going into a strip club at 1am a few months ago to ask for an ethernet cable so you could play dark tide how did that yeah. go down <laughs> so so yeah i uh we were playing dark tide everyone was waiting on me and i kept something was up with the the hotel the wi-fi i was using at the hotel yeah. it was just way more kind of um I don't know what was going on, but it just wasn't able to to keep a stable connection. And it was either Bruce or Alana. Someone basically was like, you try the Ethernet, try and get an Ethernet cable. And it was one in the morning in Vancouver. I was like, where am I going to do this? So I jumped on my Discord through my phone, stuck an AirPod in. And I thought, OK, let me let me just talk. This is live on their streams. I'm not on the stream. And uh, I tried a few shops and then I realized I was like, look, I I know the strip club people quite well there. They're good friends. They've got an office. Maybe they have a, an Ethernet cable. So I went in um, with the earpiece on so everyone can hear me talking 
and asking it became this like live streamed treasure hunt <laughs> yeah. and uh and yeah the the strip club came through uh big love to penthouse on yeah. seymour street um they they provided me with an internet cable fantastic and based can you tell us what your favorite yakuza game is i haven't played past so i've done zero one two so that's it so far that's okay like, still a lot i mean there's still hundreds and hundreds of hours but yeah. um i think uh i'm glad i played it the order i played it in. i played kwami then i played zero then i played kwami two and i loved uh uh, zero funnily enough that uh, the playing it that way was awesome it kind of served as a prequel rather than an entry title so i got to like yeah see majima before he was majima and i i feel like i really kind of benefited from from playing it in that order but um i'm just about to roll credits on two and that might change because i'm gonna can't... play through the whole series oh i have to yeah but yeah. the problem is so when when people when the fans were demanding you know, really wanted Ishin to come to the West. I was happy for it to to, to take another 10 years because I knew I wanted to play through every Yakuza yeah. game and I wanted to play through Like a Dragon and I wanted to play through Judgment 1 and 2 before I got round to start playing the spin-off titles. Um, but then they went and put my face in the game. So I've got to it's yeah. play Ishin. Now you have to play it. Yeah, yeah. so it's no going to interrupt. Yeah, it's going to interrupt the the order uh, the order that I had set out, and so Ishin will immediately be the one that I play next. So